Thailand's COVID-19 center is all set to meet about COVID-19 restrictions this weekend, but will things be eased or will it stay the same? I'm Adam. We're going to try to answer this question for you guys today on February 10th, 2022, right here at TPN Media. Now, the CCSA, also known as the Center for COVID-19 Situation Administration, is set to meet with relevant agencies and members of the CCSA this weekend to discuss whether or not they will be easing any COVID-19 restrictions. Now, earlier this week, the head of the Department of Disease Control, Dr. Opus, stated that they would be recommending easing some of the restrictions currently in place so that people could ultimately live with COVID-19. The next day, the Thai Prime Minister, Prayut chan cha actually agreed and stated that we need to once again live with COVID-19 and cannot continue to rely on lockdowns and restrictions. However, the Public Health Minister, Anudin chan Virakul, disagreed the next day and stated that they would not be recommending to lift any restrictions, they being the Ministry of Public Health. And Anudin also doubled down and said that there would be no recommendations to, for instance, legally reopen the bar and nightlife industry, closed since April of last year, but allowed to open as converted restaurants with some rules and restrictions in the interim. Now, as for what exactly is going to happen, well, we'll see. Obviously, there's a disagreement between agencies, and today alone, over 14,000 new cases were recorded of COVID-19, which is a high for quite a while. That being said, the Ministry of Public Health continues to reiterate that people should not be focused on cases, but focused on hospitalizations, especially serious hospitalizations, i.e. people with pneumonia on ventilators, and death and not focused on cases alone. So it remains to be seen if Thailand will follow the trend of many other countries, especially Western countries, and ease some restrictions, especially those around border restrictions. Currently, the Test and Go program is open, but still contains a lot of bureaucracy and paperwork, according to people who have commented on it on social media. A particular sticking point for the Test and Go program is a day five mandatory test and stay at a hotel while waiting for the results. The tourism industry and tourism authority of Thailand is pushing to ease restrictions on test and go and really reopen the borders as normal as possible without people having to go through a lot of hoops, testing, steps, and other processes. We'll keep you updated on what happens. The footage that you're watching, by the way, shows the Chambury Red Cross helping out those in need in our area over the past several days. As always, thank you for tuning in. Take care of yourselves, everyone, and each other.